I'm I'm in an interesting place in my life. I'm in the closet in my apartment, but that's not what I'm talking about. I'm not in the proverbial closet. It's like I know what I want, but there's something in my way. And that something is me. It's called Siamaki. S C I A M A C H Y. I like that word. It means fighting imaginary enemies or your shadow. And that's where I'm at. I'm making excuses, pretending that the things that are stopping me from doing what I want are actual opponents. Even doing this and making these videos is something I really want to do. I really enjoy making creative things, creative content, but I have so many excuses and I let them get the better of me. But that's why I'm here today, to explain myself a little bit and to make this recording. <laughs> it's been a while. This dichotomy, it really changes how I approach my life. Ultimately, I'm figuring things out. It's taken me long enough, but I am figuring things out. <laughs> Do you hear how the sound is changing? I'm not going to be talking to it this way, slowly getting closer, swelling the sound a little bit. I feel like it's less noticeable when I put it up to the ear, but when I take it away, all of a sudden everything gets a little clearer. Let's try it with my actual hands. Hands, hands, hands. Don't worry, they're clean. So now, oh yeah. <laughs> Usually when I was making recordings, I don't, I don't monitor them, but I was experimenting with a few things just to see what makes good noises and what I should avoid. I guess everyone likes noises, right? So I'm here to share with you a few wonderful noises. We will start with something simple. A box. That was my phone. <laughs> Across the whole apartment. <laughs> it must be louder than I thought.
chips. Fingernails might be too harsh with this box. But I do like the scratching with them. I also liked this one. Just a simple bottle. I wonder if anyone could guess what's in this. Can I give you a hint? It's related to cooking, I think. I don't remember why I bought this. Sometimes I drink it straight, but I don't know that most people do that. This bottle has a paper label.
see when I started my channel I honestly didn't want to be making recordings like I am right now I wanted to do role plays and experiments I have a lot of ideas that I don't think people have tried or at least if they have tried them they haven't been found by, <laughs> by me and I just want to do things that that <laughs> it sounds selfish but really that interested me and I you know I'm discovering that it's it's a it's like a team process because I get to I still get to make what I want to make but I'm making things to help other people and I think there's a middle ground so I can still do the sorts of experimental stuff that I want to while at the same time doing things like these and this, honestly this is very good for me because this is giving me practice it's giving me experience and <laughs> I'm actually doing something <laughs> instead of wasting my time like I have been I have long fingernails on my right hand because I play guitar I play the a, a nylon string guitar Okay, check out this noise. It's kind of gross, but interesting. I think I'd ever be able to guess what that was just from the noise I'm showing you. <laughs> Can you guess what it is if I do this? Unfortunately, through the magic of editing, you do not have to hear this, which is funny because you didn't hear that, but I just let the air out of that balloon and it was very atrocious. But now I can do that weird sloppy wet sound again with it.
I'll see if I can do this one. I really like this thing. I don't think you could guess what this object is because this isn't something that everyone has and this is not this is a really specific thing. It's something that I bought. But if I can do it right, it makes a really fun sound. sound, but I'm not doing it the way I used to be able to. I used to be able to do it slowly, like, I get one little corner open, and then be able to, like, drag it along, but now it just pops open. <laughs> Closing is still kind of fun. So it has a little chain of beads. I forget what you call these things. It's to attach it to things. But if that goes over this part, it sounds interesting.
That's kind of neat. And finally, this thing. Actually, it's like a pizza pan. But I don't have very many things, so I use it for more than just anything I need to put in the oven. <laughs> slight tone that you get from it. What if you get more of my fingers? Okay, that's gross. around my head. You get a good sense of the dimensions of the microphone with this one. So, I will apologize too, because I don't really know, sounds don't really do ASMR for me. I can do it, like I can do it to myself easily, just by thinking about it, but sounds don't usually, that's not my thing, so I don't really know if any of these sounds were particularly useful for you. And I'm open to receiving feedback and requests or whatever. Just so I can improve and I can use sounds that are better for you. That being said, I do want to thank all of you who have subscribed to me. Actually, you're the reason why I'm here making this recording today. Because I kind of, <laughs> I always dread checking that email inbox like, oh no, they're gonna, everyone must not like me because I'm taking so long to do things. <laughs> but every time I go back in, I just have more subscribers and that's really cool to me because it's like a, a vote of confidence and it's it's like you guys are just appreciative of what I'm doing even if I'm slow about it even if I'm I don't know it just makes me feel it just feels good 
in the hand that um, contributed in, <laughs> contributed in positively. Because that's all I really want to do. There's, there's even more than ASMR that I'm that I want to work on. Like, for example. and I play the piano I think he, you may have picked up on that I think I mentioned writing one of the songs in the cyborg one recording that I did oh by the way <laughs> I was embarrassed about that because I was so satisfied when I was finished with that, with just the quality of how it came out, and I was like, this is great, I'm so happy about this. And it was all well and good, until a week or two later, I listened to the, to the video with in-ear headphones, and it's much, much worse with in-ear headphones. Like, the sounds are of the massage, the massaging sounds, they, they're really, really harsh if you're wearing in-ear headphones. But the entire time that I was making that recording, that audio, I was using over-ear headphones, and it sounds great with those. Like, it's a world of difference. And so I thought about um, re-uploading it with filtering the the massage sounds, um, and I could leave both versions because I don't know. It, I don't know how it would change the the uh, over ear headphones if I filtered them, but if it's something that is that interests any of you, I will do that. And where was I going? <laughs> so uh, yeah, I'm I make music. I've written music for many years. Um, with the guitar, I actually sing a little bit, but I'm I've been lazy about singing. But I would like to pick it up again. And I would really like to share my music. I made another YouTube channel for that, but I haven't done anything with it, so I'm not going to tell you about it right now. <laughs> um, and also I write... I write words. I am very, very... It sounds kind of full of myself, but I'm very, very skilled at dreaming like going into an idea or a concept or just an imaginal world and putting it to paper. And it's not even necessarily that I'm good at all these things. It's just that I know what works. I have a very good sense of what is, what sounds good, and how I should reorganize and restructure things. If I get enough subscribers to a certain point, I've considered reading some of my stuff that I've written. I've written a lot of poetry. Not as much recently as in the past. But also, I really, really like to write short stories. Because I don't have the interest to write a long story. <laughs> and short stories are perfect. They can... They can capture your interest. And... Entertain it long enough to make an impact on the reader. while not taking it too far. Short stories are my favorite medium. And I have a couple that are quite fun. I'd love to share them. Because I have never shared them in a public forum of any sort. I've shared them with people, individuals, but never with a group.
because I have so many ideas about every one of the things that I mentioned. And I stopped myself from doing any of it. I need a list of creative projects that I want to work on. And I think I think it's getting better. I think I'm getting out of this this whatever I'm in, this funk. <laughs> and I think I'm gonna start getting things done. It'll make me happier. Um I get support from people, it's it'll be a good thing. So I'm very excited about it. I will Let's fix my life again. So, thank you for listening to all of this. Thank you if you've subscribed. And know that I really do appreciate you guys. I... <laughs> When I first started this channel, I sent really long messages to the first few of my subscribers, like, wow, thank you, I'm so, like, I'm so grateful. <laughs> I stopped doing that, but I still am grateful, and I still, I just love it. It's, mm, I feel happy about having these connections to you guys, even if I'm lazy about it. But if you... You're welcome to, like, hound me about it. Like, if you're going really slow, you can post comments and be like, Hey, pick it up. <laughs> I don't get offended. And that's probably good motivation. Like I say, I don't feel obligated to make content, but I really want to. This is something that I really want to do. And something that I really want to share with you guys. So if I am up to speed about this outfit of extra motivation, I have, I've mentioned it before, I have some role plays that I'm, uh, I'm scripting out. I haven't even started recording them so because they're quite, they are, how do I say this, intricate, I suppose. Or a lot, I want to make good quality of content. So I, I definitely have to pay attention to detail and to what I'm actually doing. I do have a 3DO microphone, and I know that a lot of ASMR creators don't start with such high quality um, equipment, but I this is something I was really interested in doing, so, oh, yeah, here I am, and I'm going to do a good job for you guys. So, thanks for being here, thanks for listening, and making big promises. Mm, let's see if I can live up to them, huh? <laughs> I hope that you have a beautiful day, a beautiful evening, a beautiful night. Whatever it may be. And I'll see you later.